Smelling robots and the VR epidemic. Here are 10 weird predictions about the future of our lives. This is Bertala Meshko, and you're watching the channel of the medical future. The future of this job is to play mind games, to try to figure out what the future will look like, to create bridges to reach the desired future, to ask questions about ethical issues, and to help avoid mistakes. I do it every day, and here I present the 10 weirdest ideas I've had when I thought about the future. Robots will smell. Our future is filled with robots, mechanic structures, that have so many components with a distinctive smell. Plastic, metal, oil, various unique parts. My nose can already smell the robot in the room. Bluetooth will cause an emergency. I can easily imagine a situation where the lack of Bluetooth connection will cause distress. Imagine that someone would collapse on the floor. A quick assessment with an ECG device would help determine what happened, but the phone just cannot find a damn gadget. Only barbarians will eat without technologies. We are having this moment now. Just think about people taking pictures about their food for Instagram. A time will come when eating without food scanners, nutrigenetic advice, food sensors or dietary chatbots will be considered barbaric. Surgeons will feel vulnerable without their technologies. Surgical robots, augmented reality devices and other additional help coming from technologies will make surgeons more powerful and confident. However, after a while, it could become such an intensive part of their job that they could even feel weaker and more insecure without them. Virtual reality will lead to an obesity epidemic. The first line of affordable VR devices offering immersive experiences way better than reality might lead to an addiction wave in the future. It could even get so strong that it might lead to an obesity epidemic. Such a strong one as in the Disney movie Wall-E. We will have to learn how to make conversations again. There will be places where the use of technologies will be forbidden. People will have to get back to real discussions without Babelfish earpods that translate real-time between any languages or AR contact lenses that project additional information about the other person. Bioprinted human organ transplant on the black market. Organ transplantation is a huge issue, but bioengineering of tissues and human organs will become an even bigger one. That's why the first transplantation of a bioprinted human organ might take place through the black market, as no ethical bureau will be brave enough to supervise it. CRISPR gene editing at home. As ordering a do-it-yourself CRISPR kit online is already an option, soon it might not be a surprise if people wanted to modify themselves genetically at home. As it does not seem to be a safe or regulated process, it will most likely lead to emergency situations. Augmented humans will challenge their physicians. It's only a matter of time until the first totally healthy person asks for a technological extension. It will probably involve a transhumanist and a robotic arm, as it can do many more things than a regular arm. Moreover, cyborg competitions will be common and as popular as the Olympic Games. Have a symptom? First ask your chatbot, as those will become the initial line of primary care. Patients could turn to chatbots supported by artificial intelligence with simpler health questions or issues of medication management. Meeting a physician at a very early stage of a disease will be the thing of the extremely wealthy. Well, I'm sure you have weird ideas about the future too, so please do share those with me. Thank you for watching.